Hello everyone. So today let us continue using a script now. And in this video, I want to show you something different. Although I have shown this in uh, my previous videos, but I have, of course, you know, thousands of videos. I have uh, plenty of videos on almost all the topics, and uh, those videos are, of course, still relevant. But uh, sometimes you have to, you know, recreate those videos based on the new UI. So this video will be uh, nothing that I have not covered before. Uh, I'm just not doing it again because why not? So, uh, so what I want to do, what I want to do today is I want to show you how we can uh, hide some elements on uh, your Jira UI. And of course, now I'm doing it on Jira Data Center, not on Jira Cloud. Uh, so this is, of course, something which is not difficult. It is very simple. And there are plenty of use cases for doing this. Let us say you have this issue view uh, where you want to do something for, uh, uh, of course, the, these issues. but maybe based on the permissions, maybe based on uh, uh, the the uh, role, maybe you want uh, to hide some issues, or not issues, some, some operations. So if you open this issue, let us just look at the issue here. So you have these buttons on top, right? And by the way, when, when it comes to Jira, you can actually, and especially if you have Jira data center and you have script now for Jira, you can actually do a lot of wonderful things. Today we will learn how to hide, uh, let us say, the assign button, right? So usually you have the option to assign the issue to yourself or to anyone. Uh, for example, if you click on this button, assign, it will let you assign it to someone. And uh, there are also things like, you know, let us say you want to hide the clone feature, maybe you want to hide the issue link feature. So let, let us today hide uh, the linking part because linking, linking is always, you know, a bit difficult to control. Yes, you can hide this link option, you can also make sure the issue link field is not on the screen. You can also hide uh, the plus sign that, up, that appears here. Yes, it is possible. But you won't be able to stop people from linking to this issue. For that, of course, you need to use the issue link created event. Uh, and then you need to maybe get rid of the link or maybe add a comment for the person. Uh, so today, let us just hide a few things on the issue. Uh, view screen. So we'll go to the option called as uh, fragments. So if you're using a script runner, you have the functionality to hide these options, these, these things, and a lot of other things, by the way. So you can basically go to this tab called uh, fragment, uh, or you can type here hide, I think it should, you know, come up here. So if you go to the tab called as uh, fragments, you will then be able to you know, do something. And it, it is not just hiding. Script fragment is not, not only for hiding. You can also do other things. We'll, we'll try to cover. I think I have covered, but I'll probably, you know, recreate those videos because this is something that I'm trying to do anyways. So the option that we will select here is something called as hide a system or plugin UI element. So click on this and then you can type in here hide the assign button and uh, issue linking, right? So we can do that. And the next part is actually very important. You need to select here what you want to hide. So maybe you want to hide uh, assign. Uh, so you can select here assign uh, issue. So you, so by the way, you might not be sure about what to select here. There is a way to do this. So you have to basically enable a feature like a flag and then, and don't do it on production, by the way. It will basically show you various things, elements, and their, uh, I think, machine names, I guess. So you can use that. But to be honest, uh, in most cases, you don't really need to hide each and everything. You just need to hide these common things. And uh, if you can always you know, try to search here. For example, if you search for issue operations, issue operations, I believe. Yeah, so it will basically give you all the options you know, that appears in the drop down. So for example, we have link issue. We also have uh, uh, issue operations, assign issue. So you will basically find these uh, options that appear on top, usually in the more, and then you can, uh, you know, add it. But of course, no, you need to do something else. So you need to also specify here, uh, uh, like the project 
and maybe some other condition like when this uh, thing should come into effect and the thing is the way this works is you have to basically specify like something like jira helper dot i'll add a simple condition maybe we want to do it only for uh, the project which is uh, demo project right this project demo now of course you, you might think that okay i'll probably do demo something like this right but you have to basically negate this <laughs> so if you do this then this will say this will basically mean that uh, uh, the uh, the item will be displayed so we basically if you have to basically hide it you have to negate it and uh, you can say here uh, not equal to and then add and if you now go back so right now we see a sign and we also see this link if you refresh this will get rid of uh, the assign button so we don't leave an, uh, any assign button and it will also get rid of the link right now we also have this plus sign here so let us also hide it why not so you can then go back to the edit and then you can search here uh, issue link or maybe link issue so you also have this uh, you know create issue link so jira view issue plugin and uh, let us click on update go back and uh, refresh then it will hide the plus sign so i know it's a very simple thing but useful because you want to do these things to achieve you know your business requirements and um, and and yeah let me know if you have any any anything that you think you need to hide uh you you, you can play with it if you know what i mean because you have the option to select these web items or basically these uh, options that you like hide what you will basically be able to select a uh, lot of these things here so you can just you know spend some time but in most cases as i mentioned you just want to hide you know the options that will that will let the user do something right and you can do that uh, you can hide it and you can of course hide it conditionally maybe you want to only hide it for normal users but not really for the project admin right or something similar or maybe you can do it uh, based on some condition uh like when the issue status is beyond a certain stage in my workflow maybe you want to stop people from uh, you know adding more links to it or maybe of course you, know, you can also rely on the workflow uh, properties but these options these operations will let users do something and you can actually get rid of these options based on some other conditions all right that is it i know uh, simple or maybe not simple but uh, i hope it was useful so that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this uh, video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much